Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth. Last time we left off, it seems that there's some confusion based on the murders of both Manny and Damask II. It seems like the weapons that were used to kill each other in the other embassies were like switched around. It's like a Balbalian knife or whatever is used on an Albastian Secretariat and it's the other way around. So it's like, what the hell? So I guess right now all we gotta do is just investigate what just happened. It, it is really confusing. And hopefully we can actually just, you know, get to the bottom of this. May not be soon, but any little thing will help us at the moment. I've left the demands of second investigation to Francisca and returned to Babel. I suppose my first order of business should be to look into the statue. Mr. Edgeworth! There's Kay and Gumshoe and the other guy who's creepy. So, Kay, what's the situation? Oh, it's great! Investigating is so much fun! In other words, they've made absolutely no progress. Well, we weren't goofing off! Honest, sir! We've been investigating our hearts out! Very well, then. Would you care to give me an update on your investigation? You do have one, right? Um. Oh, we've re we've had a really fun time, sir. I knew it. Zero progress. In any case, Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir. You have permission to enter the Albastian Embassy. Is that correct? Yep. As a local detective, I'm happily on for investigations on both sides, sir. Good. In that case, I can leave these pieces of evidence with you. Ah, uh, uh, what? Uh, why are you gonna give me those? Uh, those two. They belong to the lady under the Pink Princess's mask. The Pink Princess? What kind of lady was playing her, sir? The kind that was also playing the role of the Pink ba the pink Badger yesterday. Oh! Oh! Oh, understood, sir. If I'd have to run into her, I'll give them back to her. Oh, and if I don't, well, I guess I'll know them somewhere. He doesn't seem all that enthused to go find her, but I can't blame him. Evidence has lost her value given to Detective Gumshoe. Boom. Now then, I don't believe I'll be needing this anymore either. What? Are you really going to throw that autograph away? Yes, because that steel samurai was a fake. So, really? Oh, okay, that's done. What? What? Why do you? What do you mean by fake? Now then, I believe it's time for a little housekeeping. Unnecessary evidence has been removed. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting here. What, what do we got here? Yeah, there's a good chunk, actually. Decent. Some stuff got removed. Okay. So wonder what, the, what these plants are going to be for, or these flowers. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure out later. Okay. Um. Well, since Kay and Gumshoe are the ones doing this investigation, it's one of the rare times we're actually going to use the partner button to see uh, what's the update. How's the investigation going in the Babel, that Secretariat's office, Kay? Hmm... Well, even though we found a few treasures, they've all been pretty much burnt to a crisp. A treasure is a terrible thing to waste. Anyway, is there anything else I should know about? Um... Oh, that's right! You know what I found in that office? A wooden bear carving! It's so cute! Can I have it, huh? Can I? No, of course you can't! There's some things, it appears that there's been no progress in the investigation. That's not good. Gumshoe, do you have anything to, you know, to update us on about the investigation? Miss Edgeworth! You look like you've, you're enjoying yourself, Detective. Well, I don't have much else that I enjoy as much as a good investigation, sir. So, what did you find out? Oh, uh, well, uh, <laughs> ah, why is he still laughing? Take it, he has found nothing of any particular use. As usual. Oh, Gumshoe. Hey, Miss Edgeworth, I got something really interesting from Ambassador Pellinio, whatever. Oh? And what is this? What, what is this something interesting? This, sir! It's a lantern. Wow, that's so pretty! I'm so jealous! It's a real treasure right there! Why does the flame burn green, Detective? So apparently, if you burn a special wit crystal oil that, that's only made here, it burns this green color, sir. Interesting. So it's a special property of the oil. I suppose this is a ploy to force people to visit the should the oil run out. Hey, Gummy, what about those silhouettes? 
they suck some cutouts on the outside of the lantern so it project the images. Oh. Silhouettes, huh? They're rather pretty, aren't they? Wait, what am I doing? I was supposed to be asking for an update on the investigation. Hey, what's wrong, sir? There's something I want to investigate for- I want you to investigate for me. Do you think you can do that much? Uh-huh. You got it, sir. Hey, that's not fair. Why is Gummy getting to do all the fun stuff? Uh, well, that's because I'm Mr. Andrew's partner. Uh, I can't believe you took advantage of the confusion and stole my role as assistant. I expect the two of you to get along and work together like professionals on this. Oh, jeez. Well, you know, Edgeworth kind of reminds me of, a uh, Phoenix in a sense. You know, he has... Phoenix has Maya and Pearl. They always somewhat give him trouble here and there, and... Well, for Edgeworth, he has Gumshoe and K giving him issues. But it's all in good fun. Okay, well, let's, uh, speak to Mr. Creepy Man right here. Ah, oh, so you're back now, are you, Mr. Edgeworth? You must be tired. Here, with these, you can eat whatever you like. And these are... He, why does he keep giving me tickets? Discount tickets for our cafeteria! They open tomorrow at 10 in the morning! I appreciate the concern, however, these coupons do nothing for me right now. Jeez, this guy just really loves to pay, give things out. The open, st the open air stage. What function does it serve exactly? Well, normally we use it for a variety of events. It's all to attract that extra bit of attention to Babel. I heard that tonight over in the Albastian Rose Garden, Ambassador Elbows to give a speech. And you know what? Manny told me I should really give a speech as well. Mr. Cochin told you that? Yes, he did. Which is why I thought I should give him give a speech of my own. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to. Because of the fire the Yagarasu started. Exactly. Okay then, well let's talk about the statue here. Ambassador, I'd like to ask a little bit more about the Premier Doc statue. Oh, I see. Well, let me ask you this. Did you know that Albas and Babal used to be one country called Kobdeapia or whatever? Yes, I know that much about your history. Well, the Premier Doc statue belonged to the founders of blah, 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 blah. At least, that's how the story goes. It was bequeathed onto the king of whoever as a symbol of the country's wealth. So it was meant as a symbol of sovereignty and the right to rule, I take it. Yes, that's right, which is why both countries are so adamant about their claim. We hold the real statue, therefore we hold the right to rule, is the reasoning. It's pretty petty when you think about it, though, I suppose. But if Alabast and Babal were to establish relations, uh, re-establish, shouldn't that put an end to squ squabbling or squabbling over the statue? I have no reason to believe so. The Primaduck statue is even more important now as the key to diplomacy. I wonder if Ambassador, if he knows, about what has happened to the very important key to diplomacy. Perhaps I should try showing him this key and see what he has to say about it. Right, so before we do that, let's just talk about Manny here. Ambassador, there's just one thing I'd like to ask you about. Yes? Oh, and don't worry, you can ask me more than just one thing. How about two or three? In exchange, I expect you'll be coming to Babel, yes? Thank you, but just the one thing's all I require. Manny Cochin. I'd like to ask you about this man who was your secretary. Wait, why is he so surprised about that? Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Thank you for your cooperation, Ambassador. He was... well, if I had to put it in one word, he was an able man. If there was ever anything I needed as an ambassador, he was able to get it for me. To think that a man like that had a hand in a smuggling ring right under my nose, going completely unnoticed. Actually, I suppose because he was an able man, I was unable to detect his dirty dealings. Hmm. Sounds like Mr. Cochin had a very sharp mind. Recently, Manny had a had been really busy. Since I became the uh, representative of the Country, Uni Country Unification Council, He's been working tirelessly to cover my work for me. I'm sorry, but what is this Country Unification Council? Oh, w well, you see, had tonight's events proceeded without a hitch, our two countries were, were to reunify and become one again. But I guess with how things turned out, that dream won't be realized anytime soon. Hmm. I suppose not. It's kind of sad. Well, now we said let's show him the key to the diplomacy. And, yeah, because we don't think that, uh... I don't think he knows exactly what happened to the statue here. 
Ambassador, if you could please take a look at this for me. The Primanok statue sitting in Albast right now actually belongs to Babal. So it would appear. I received a call from Ms. Akharma about this earlier. Then you will understand why we should inspect the other Primanok statue immediately. Because the statue currently in your country's possession. Yes, well, I've already inspected it myself. And it is definitely Albast's statue. I know because it's the real statue. Then you're saying that. Webbals was a replica? I'm embarrassed to say it's true, even though I know that someday it would be exposed. I received my orders from the leaders of Babel, and I was to negotiate with Ambassador Alba at this event. I was to negotiate with him and fix the results of the evaluation tonight. To say that we could not determine which statue was a real one. Why are you telling me this? Well, because you already figured it out! Our statue is just a hollow gold shell! Even if Babal were to lose face, the reunification of the country is what's important. It's, I'm right in, the, in thinking that, aren't I? I'm not making a mistake, right? If you don't know yourself, then I won't pretend to know either. I never thought about by being portrayed by my own secretary, the real symbol of wealth would be given to me. Isn't it simply ironic? Hey, where are you going? Are you all? Are you heading back to Albast? Yes, before I do, I suppose I should give you a summary of what's happened. Oh, I see. So there's been a murder in both countries using an object from the other country? That's the gist of it. The battle is just as strict as Alabast in their inspections of the people and things that enter their country. Meaning that somehow both murder weapons were smuggled into two countries. That's the only logical conclusion that can be drawn. Perhaps the key to the weapon smuggling is a person who tra traversed both countries. You mean the fake Yadagarasu? In one way or another, the Yadagarasu is connected. Of this, I am sure. Now then, where was the Yadagarasu first spotted? I believe it was the Rose Garden on the Albastian side of the embassy. The garden is just on the other side of the this boundary. It's where Ambassador Alvo is to give a speech tonight. At least, that's where I heard Yadagarasu had appeared. In that case, I believe it's vital that I, inv I investigate the Rose Garden post-haste. Wait, before you go, take a look at this, Mr. Edgeworth. What is it? My guess is it's a guitar, p guitar pick. I picked it up just now over there. Do you think it'll be of any use? There's a little water on it, but how did the water get on it? It doesn't look like there's anything it could get wet from around here. I was thinking, they have concerts here at the open air stage from time to time, right? Alright, I'll find its owner later. I kind of have an idea who's it, who, who, who's it could be anyway. I mean, if you kind of think about it, the Jammin' Ninja uses a guitar, and you usually need a guitar pick to play the guitar, so... Yes, that's the only logical conclusion I can come up with right, right away, so eh. Oh yeah, there's one more thing! Mr. Edgeworth, would you be willing to hold on to this for me? What is this? Oh, isn't that the perfume we got seven years ago? It's misused perfume. It's the bottle that woman left behind and that I found seven years ago. I thought that one day... I can't... Oh, oh crap. Hold on a minute, guys. Alright, sorry about that. I was trying to find something to wear because it's freezing in my house for whatever reason. Whew. I thought that one day it'd be of use of it'd be of some use to us in tracking her down. So I kept it safe all this time. Thank you. I'll be honored to hold on to it for you. Aw, oh, isn't that nice? Alrighty, where can we go? Well, I guess we can actually just move to the uh that rose garden. I believe it's well it's gonna be back here. Huh. I can't believe I missed Lotto, she was right here. Ah well. So yeah, let's just go in here and... Oh, okay. I thought I'll be returning to, to the investigation of Alabast now, but... I know, I know, I'll go back to the battle and do some more investigating there. Alright. Oh, I feel bad. She should be there with us. It's a very nice garden. I see you're back, Miles Edgeworth. Who could it be? Oh, of course. How are things in Babel? Although, I can't really say I expect much from, from Scruffy and that girl. The investigation into Manny Cochin's death hasn't really progressed any. However, the investigation into the Yadagarasu has. Ah, yes, the Yadagarasu. 
Even now, I find it hard to believe. A person who can freely traverse between the two countries at will? Preposterous. Well, that's what I came here to, to investigate. I heard that this is where the witnesses claim to have seen the Yagarasu first. That's correct. Ambassador Alba was to give a speech tonight here in Elbas, and that's when the Yagarasu appeared. The shadow of the mysterious thief appeared, and just as suddenly it vanished. After that, there was the fire at the other embassy that the Yagarasu started. I vow that not a single feather from the Yagarasu shall escape my diligence. Alright, so I guess uh, next time, guys, we're going to be going ahead and invest uh, starting our investigation here at the Rose Garden. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. I'll see you guys later.